What is up people, Mr. Pilot here bringing you another video. I know I just released a video earlier today, but I just wanted to release a quick video um, since today is election day. I haven't really talked uh, much about it in quite a long time. I just wanted to give my prediction. I'm not saying I like it or not. This is just an educated guess based on everything that I know how people are, uh, not based on what the media is saying, not based on what online is saying, not based on anything like that, just based on how I have seen the public perception, both in person, online, etc. And yeah, I know I said not based on online, but you know what I mean, like not the news sites or Facebook stuff, just people, what people are saying. And the way it's looking like, I'm guessing Donald Trump is going to win the re-election. Again, I'm not saying I like it or I don't like it. I'm just saying I think it's definitely looking like he's going to win the re-election. This is... Um, I don't know anything ahead of time. It's still, it's still zero zero. Just to show you, yeah, the states are looking red and stuff, but it's it's only at eight percent of the voting in those states anyway. So why it's even turning red on the map right now? It, I don't know, but um, it's only eight percent of the voting count in three states. That's it. All the other states are one percent or less at the time of me recording this video. So I just wanted to say, my guess is Trump's gonna win. Do I want him to? Is Joe any better? I don't know 100% if Joe is any better. It seems like, based on the lies or accidental myths truths, I'm not going to say whether it's lies or not because I don't know for sure, on both sides... It seems like Joe cares more about all Americans. And Trump only cares about certain Americans. Based on the perception of how they both talk. And based on Trump's actual actions so far these last four years in the policies. I'm not saying anything they, that people say about him or anything like that. I'm saying by the policies that he himself has put through. I don't like that he's put through the anti-pollution um, uh, stuff where he removed certain policies that were in place to limit pollution. He removed that to allow companies to pollute both the air and the water more. I know it was sort of for 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 financial gain for those companies, but it's going to hurt us, especially in the long term, with more pollution in the water, more pollution in the air, and I don't like that. Um, and certain policies that he's done that are like against gay people. Whether you think it's a sin or not, whether you think gay people are sinning or not, why make it illegal for them to join the military? I don't remember if that was reversed or not, but I know for a fact that he tried to, to, to ban them from being able to enlist in the military. I think it went through. I'm pretty sure they can't anymore. I don't remember now, but... But it was a few years ago when he tried to put it in. Um, where if if they're transgender, is what I should say, not not gay. If they're transgender, they weren't allowed to, to join the military or he was going to try to make it so that they weren't allowed. That makes no sense. They're at least trying to fight for the country that they live in. It shouldn't matter what the hell is in their pants or what the hell was in their pants when they were born. 
why does that matter on the battlefield? If there was ever a, another war, I hope to God there isn't. But why would that matter who they are as a gender or a race or anything like that? The only thing that you would want to consider is how good they are and if they were in the percentage chance of them betraying you. Anything else shouldn't matter. But, yeah, he, he has helped the economy. That one is true. Um, he has done things that have helped the economy. I don't like that he gave tax breaks to the rich and then not to the poor or lower middle class. That also doesn't make any sense. Because, yeah, I understand the idea that if you give tax breaks to the to the rich, that they're then going to use that to benefit their workers. Almost none of them ever do. So the poor people that it was supposed to benefit because they saved the top, saved money, that benefits never happen for the poor people. So they just stay poor and nothing changes there. Sometimes they get worse, especially now. They're, the poor people are getting even worse because of what's going on in 2020. Anyway, yeah, that's my that's my prediction. I think Trump's going to win based on how things are going in public perception and all of that. Not based on media opinions, not based on anything like that. Just based on public perception and my educated guess off the facts that are going on, I'm pretty sure Trump's going to win the election. But we'll see. Whether or not that's a good idea or not for him to win... I don't know. I don't I don't know 100%. I just know those three main things that I don't like that he's done before and the and the one thing that I do like that he's done. So, that's my opinion. Thanks for watching. See you next time.